of 2013, Barcelona planned to lower the number of people coming to the park well by implementing an entrance fee. The number of visitors had climbed to 9 million people a year, and after the new measures, had already dropped to 2.3 million. Today, Barcelona's second most visited monument is more empty than ever. The main entrance, with the guardhouse and administrative center, originally placed to patrol the entrance to the community, usually alerts the tourists of the various access points they must use around the park for their timed visits to the monumental zone. But today, two almost gingerbread-like houses linked by the original gate of the Casa Vicens, the first house Gaudi built in Barcelona, are going to give us the direct access that was originally planned. So let's take advantage. One of the most iconic photos from the park has got to be along the steps leading up to the market. On any given day, you'll be required to wait your turn to get the picture you want alongside the popular Dragon Fountain. Today we have it all to ourselves. The park well was built between 1900 and 1914 by Antoni Gaudí, under the patronage of Eusebi Guell who thought that the new expansion of Barcelona was erasing the old cultural and religious ideas of the city. The plan was to offer a residence for the 60 wealthiest families interested in moving to an area that had just recently been incorporated into Barcelona. Lack of interest and the outbreak of the First World War saw only two of those proposed houses built, where both Gaudí and Guell would live. Known as La Torre Rosa, the Pink Tower, this was Gaudi's residence for almost 20 years before moving to the Sagrada Familia. The main plaza was inspired by the old Greek theaters. It's the largest space within the park and offers incredible views of the entire city. It was built to be accessible from all sides of the community and a meeting place for all residents. You can see that in the design of the bench that runs around the plaza. The curved form creates private grouping areas where you can meet up and speak. The bench was designed by Josep Maria Jujol, Gaudi's assistant. Eighty-six columns line the marketplace, all created in Doric style. 90 columns would have fit, but Gaudi, with the help of Jujol, decided to replace four of them with colorful mosaics of the sun in each of the four seasons of the year, along with 14 moons representing the lunar cycle. After the work stoppage, the city bought the land and turned it into a public park in 1922. In 1984, the park well, along with several other of Gaudi's works, became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. While it's always worth a trip to the monumental section, my favorite spot has always been at the top, where you can see the entirety of Barcelona. <laughs> 